to update you guys on the shop space that we have. We have our own Sow the Land shop space here in Asheville, North Carolina. And this is part of our story, part of the story that we share. Uh, we make things on our homestead, woodworking, and my wife has her own apothecary line. And we have our own shop space here at Atomic Furnishing and Design. I have some hand carved spoons here that I need to put them in our shop because it is Christmas time and things have been selling, which is awesome. I did a video a few months ago when we first opened up and I don't think I've done a video since then of our shop. And I'm gonna show you guys that right now. Good, how are you? This is Sarah. Hi. She's super nice. Oh. If you if you come by, make sure you say hi. <laughs> yeah, so this is like a big warehouse that Atomic Furnishing and Design this is their building. They rent out spaces here, and we have our own. So the land space, and everything here we make in our own little homestead on my 124 square foot shed that I have at our place. And we're in charge of our own space here. We don't have to be here at this space. Sarah's here, so she rings everybody up, but we do need to take care of our own space. Just making sure everything looks nice, looks, still looks straight, and seeing what sold and what didn't. A lot of the hand carved spoons that I make have been selling the last couple weeks, which I'm super thankful for. And I'm just updating our booth here with a few extras in case some last minute shoppers. <laughs> so we have to we have to tag everything, put a price on it. It's like our own little store. by here at least once a week, sometimes twice, to update our shop. Make sure everything looks nice, make sure everything's put together. And also I've been doing custom orders. And so if it's someone local, I'll usually meet them here. I've also met some of our YouTube subscribers here, uh, which is fun. This is kind of like a meeting point to deliver some of the custom orders that we do. I mean, even the displays, like I made this display, and this is all of Lorraine's apothecary that we sell. We have wall art, and most of this stuff you can find on our website. Um, some of it not, some of it's more custom, more like a one-off piece, like this. This is a headboard that I done, and a coffee table. This is like a modular coffee table. Let me show you 
guys all the other spaces that are here. I think the last video I did on this is everyone was still moving in and they still had some spots, but pretty much filled up here. There is a lot of vintage and antique dealers here. My friend Emily, she does amazing art. Her, her booth is always packed. Love it. There's some photographers, more vintage. Lots of pottery. Look at these, all hand carved, hand carved bowls. My buddy Phil from Filthy Woodworking. Look at this. He hand carves these bowls by hand. I mean, I do spoons that little. He's doing bowls, amazing stuff. Lots of furniture, more woodworking. My buddy Neil does these wall weavings. I mean, so it's, a, it's just a pretty amazing space. People doing wonderful things. They're so, super creative people. I'm really thankful to be part of this. And Crafted Workshop, he has an awesome YouTube channel, how-to videos. Spoon and Hook, she's a fellow spoon carver. She does really nice spoons, cutting boards, all hand carved. I just think this is an incredible idea to bring local artists together and just being connected in this maker community. I've collaborated with a couple different people here. This is Astro Works. He does topography maps. But I just wanted to show you guys just an update on our shop space here in Asheville. I will leave a link down to this address down in the show notes. So. If you're in the area, come check it out. A lot of local makers doing amazing things here. <laughs> All right, thanks. See ya. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys that this shop space that we have in Asheville. And this is one of the things that we do on our homestead. This is one of the ways how we're able to make an income. We just make things, build things, have a shop space, and I am just incredibly thankful that we are part of this maker space, part of this making community here in Asheville, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. But I appreciate you guys watching and following our journey. And we'll see you guys next time.